Link 2012. I don't notice a big difference between when we're using torches and when we're not. I wonder if there's a max speed. I know what there is for jumping. Alright, we actually took him down in a decent amount of time. I think I made the spawners readily visible, visible here. No, there's some rebels spawning out over there. In non-obvious locations. Where's your spawner? I don't see a spawner. Oh well. I hope the potion hits before my arrow hits. I'm sure I tested it out thoroughly to make sure that happened. I always make sure to give the players the best. Ouch, that's one issue. I don't like being hit with my own arrows. But so far though, pretty good. I'm not sure where the, the Archangel was spawning from exactly. Right, they're dead. Oh, well they're spawning from inside the door somewhere. The question is, where, how am I supposed to get to them? Alright, come on, let's go up. Let's shoot everything. Get all by. Oh boy, come on. I am honestly annoyed with these guys. I don't know where to look for them. Oh, well, now we know. That was a little bit easy. I'm glad I made them easy to get. Archangel. Great, they're gonna die indeed. Let's just get away from them. Let's see if there's anything up here. It certainly is. Wait, did we not get it? Where is this one from? This castle portion, I was actually originally going to make this the final boss fight, uh, but then, because I remembered it, when I had gone to, um, when, when, there's lots of secrets in Hypixel, this being one of them. And I remembered it being a lot flatter. In the end, though, that wasn't the case, and we ended up with this. Um, so it's just currently the... Where it's originally from, it's 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 in this area, the lobby, the main lobby. Okay, now I can't remember if I put anything in here. I don't think I did. It would just be too much of a hassle to go through them. If it's too much of a hassle to go through things, I said, nope, I'm not going to make you players do it. Although there are some occasions where for reasons I decided, okay, let's go ahead and do that. I just keep bouncing off them. I want them to hit, hit hard. He's spawning in over here. I'm not sure where, but they're spawning from somewhere over here. Come on. 
they weren't spawning in, but they were from earlier, from the spawner we destroyed. Anyways, let's go ahead and finish things off over here. Grab whatever's in this chest and is useful to us, like this. Uh, ivory, we really don't need unbreakable ivory at this point in the time. Way better stuff. I mean, we have rune items. Rune items are far superior to ivory in almost every way. Yeah, you see these guys. I, I love how I made it so the zombie pigmen would die if they spawned in. Okay. I know there's some striker spawners around here, but I don't want to put up with them. Okay, this, this is, this is, these are some cool items. Uh, ice Bucket Challenge slows the mobs around you, but slows you as well. So, this is actually a really cool thing. And it, uh, it, you can see it applies to all the items. Uh, we're going to put those away because we really don't need to use them right now. Do not hit the backpack. That would be the worst thing ever. Ice bucket. Oh, I want... Corroborative selfishness. Oh, that was also with the ALS ice bucket. Just to say something. Okay, on to the next part of the castle. So, this portion... It was difficult figuring out how to connect all the pieces of this, this castle because there's so many different layers to it. Um, and I didn't want to put a ton in it either, so you see how everything here was very sparse. There wasn't there weren't a ton of items. But anyways, you can walk through this portal and you end up on this floor. And this part's really fun. I love this part. This part took a while to make, but I actually loved it. It's actually, you actually already have some boost in here. And so you can barely jump from platform to platform. Let's destroy all the spawners. Try not to get hurt by them. Oh yeah, we can't get hurt by them. Okay, we can. If we go back down, I don't remember if they do spawn or not. Nope, they don't. So. Let's not worry about that. Let's get back here for a moment. We're gonna shoot some arrows at them. And jump up and shoot some arrows at them. There's just one spawner left here. Yeah, that was really, really easy. <laughs> a lot easier than I was test when I was testing it. When I was testing it, I was not using charisma. You know, charisma is one of those items that you know it's helpful to have on hand, but you know you never think of it. Like the, a I mean, the ALS ice bucket challenge is one another one of those items. You know, you can have it on hand all the time, and it's very nice, but. You know, and how many situations is it useful? Alright, we're good. Wow, that was fun. And that was how- that's how a CTM's supposed to be, to be honest with you. To be honest with you here. That's how- that's how it's supposed to be. Okay, we need to get out of here. Just take some damage now. Okay. Well, I'm gonna grab whatever's in here and get out because I know that they're gonna spawn. And I couldn't give them more than the charisma of levitation or about the charisma of levitation simply because uh, this area is not that tall, and I'm doing everything to fit the area. This is a jump right here, so you can technically speed through that. 
I'm hoping that speedrunners will. I hope speedrunners ever play this, but I doubt they will. Great. Yada yada yada. It is actually a pretty scary area right here. The scrapers are my worst nightmare. Oh, there's an ender chest. Perfect. I want to put some of this stuff away. Spawner Buster? Spawner Destroyer! So this is not a Spawner Buster, but a Spawner Destroyer. This has efficiency. It's also got knockback, fire aspect, unbreaking. I actually want to see if we can repair that. Nope. Of course. Why would we be able to repair that? It's insanely overpowered. So we're out here now. This is almost the top of the castle. As you can see, we're gonna have to deal with a lot of Thankfully these guys are pretty weak. Uh, rebels aren't a problem. Really. Oh boy, those guys are though. Oh, okay, so they're in the trees. More, you're gone, you're dead. If we take these guys down fast enough, they won't spawn. That's good. He's down. Oh boy, now we have really bad company. I don't. I do not want to deal with strafers right now. Good. Oh boy, he's falling over there. Just trying to complete this area, man. Now we know that those are strafers, though, so we can be cautious around them. Yeah, and again, you can still rush through this part, it's no problem if you want to. I would guess it is a problem, because you might accidentally get wrecked by a strafer. Aha, you can't get me up here, strafers! Get wrecked. But they are not at all. Not in any sense of the word. No! Stop spawning! Blah 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 blah. Sick of this. It's gonna be done. Let's get out of here. Oh, there's a thing down there for sure. Thankfully, they're just dislikers. Okay, we're good. Right? Yeah, I added a lot of the stuff into these towers. Uh, so that way it would work a little bit better. And it does feel pretty good going up this tower. Because this is how gameplay should be. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah, you have to actually bridge up to get these guys. Okay. You're dead. Whoever's over there is totally dead too. Okay, let's grab whatever we have in here. Right. For force field chest plate, thorns twenty protection ten. That sounds really overpowered. It probably won't last very long. No, I know that's not going to last very long. Uh, protection ten eats up a lot of durability. Thorns ten eats up a lot of durability. But it's a cool item to have, nonetheless. That's the point. Is if, in one-off scenarios, it's kind of cool. Yeah, I was wondering if that was permanent or not. If that was permanent, I might consider using it. Oh, that's way too OP. Oh boy, I wonder if any, if any of those towers have anything in them. Nope, nope, nope. Oh boy. Well, thankfully those TNTs don't explode. Oh, 
I, I remember those things being so annoying as mobs would activate them and uh, I'd have to reset them over and over. I think that actually was what happened in the end with the uh, other one. To be completely honest with you, it probably deactivated thanks to a mob. I probably activated thanks to a mob. And so now it's not working anymore. Anyways, we have a Jeb spawner. Woo! I love Jeb. And Jeb is basically, if you name a sheep Jeb, they do some crazy things. Let me show you. You see, he's going rainbow. Woo! And a bug's trying to crawl on me. Ah! What is that even? He's dead. It's going with some moss. A baby moss. All the bugs are coming into my room and trying to get to me now because it's late at night. And my computer is right. No, my sheep. Oh, we got the Jeb spawner. We're good. Can't really ask for any more, anything more in life than the Jeb spawner. And force field chest plates. Okay, we're good. Um, where to now? I want. So we still have all the spawn, all the chests down here to take care of. Ow. I want to see if there's anything in those sorts of towers. I doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. Because they're just too far away. Yeah, you see the door is black right there. There's nothing up there. I might have added something to one of these just to be cool. That's probably it. Of course, we can easily get back out. That's why I'm not worrying that I'm falling down. Oops. Forget about easily getting back up. It's, it's actually tricky. And we're back up. All right. So anybody that's challenging me, I'm shooting you. Oh boy, there's a lot in there. A lot of frights in there. Okay, really don't need any of this. Actually, I will take the glowstone. I'll use that for my blocks. The glowstone makes good blocks. Can't place torches on it, but why would you ever want to? It's glowstone. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, and we got some extended cheesy potions over here. Let's go ahead and drink up one of these. Oh, okay. Okay. stop going up in the air. Ooh, that's close off the edge. It's so weird because we have all these overpowered items. We have the angelic feet, so we never have to worry about falling. Oh wait, is there anything back here? Okay, you know what guys? We're going back here. Because I remember there being something back here. I can't remember where it is, like what side it's on, but I remember that there's something here. Something on these on these sides. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. We're gonna go check the other side. What's this? Just a piece of snow. I can't remember why that was there. There was some weird explanation to, as to why. But I remember knowing why. This is why you have to do Descent Developer Commentary right when you finish the map, Link. Is why you don't wait a year to redo it. Um, I wanted to. I, I just really was. It was because of the streaming that I wanted to get back into Descent Developer Commentary. Uh, and I wanted to do it more for myself. I'm doing this map for the experience. I'm not really doing it for the commentary, to be honest with you. That we might do later. Oh, um, Oh boy, would you look at this? This is one of those situations where... Do I not have a philosopher's potion on me right now? <laughs> Holy moly! What did I just have to speed on those things? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm 
glad I can get back down here. I need to make a safe space for myself. This is way too risky. Hello? Okay, yeah, that's a bad idea. Oh, there's guys out here too. Strafers at that. Oh, they probably came from inside. They, can, they know how to go through walls. Yeah, and they're not lagging at all right now. That's why they're so scary. I think we've got a lot of spawners in here. Ouch. Okay, we're, we're not dead. Right, the safe spot I wanted I was talking about. Let's go ahead and make that right now. Alright, good. We can always retreat to that if we need to. Let's get some more torches ready. Granted, we're probably gonna be taking down all these spawners. Oh boy, there's a thing over there. are way tougher than I thought they were. I'm glad I can change them remotely. Oh, well, I guess that doesn't matter. I'm not going to change them. I'm not balancing the map right now. Jump boost 2, feather falling, some super high level 6. Feather falling 6, two levels higher than you can normally get. Again. I believe we have a slightly better feather falling set of falling feather falling boost, if you remember right. We got some other really snappy boost earlier on. Over in here. Oh boy, we are not going to be able to grab everything in here that we want. A sharpness of five, three, Good. What's this? Smite five? I will take those. Protection of four and power five, yes. Breaking three and yeah, let's go. I don't want you to be my chest here. Man, they just those those archangels just don't die. Anyway. What's this? Yeah, it's one of the rebels about that. Oh boy. I really wish the resistance lasted longer. The negative resistance on this open apparatus. That way we can take him down a little bit more easily. Well, I'm glad we stole the night vision in here. Just a little bit annoying. Just a little bit. We're pretty high up right now. Oh, normally this would kill a player. So that way you could park, you could parkour through it as a speedrunner, but you really wouldn't want to. A lot of these things are made with speed with speedrunners in mind. Now, unfortunately, my map, well, I guess unfortunately, my map didn't take off a ton, so speedrunners never did do my map. I mean, Minecraft speedrunners are really rare already. You. 
spawner in there. Up here. I wanted to get up here. Bye. So the reason I put this here was two full, light it up, and then take it down. Uh, issues now, I have to build up a little bit in order to get it. Alright, we're up though. Out, no rebels, no! I'm back down. Let's I guess we can get all the way up there. Oh, no, 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 no! All the way back to the start. I mean, do that. Well, whatever. Go back up here. Back up here. Can't quite get back up there yet. We're up here again. Oh, and the strafer just jumped off the edge because the strafer is trying to strafe. Even if it's to their death. Yeah, all this you can do without jumping at all. It's risky. That's possible. What is my bow hitting? Oh, you heard that? That was the sound of the guillotine going off. We have some rebels up here making sure that nothing goes wrong, and indeed nothing did. Right before we got up here, High Pixel was beheaded. Remember seeing his head on there earlier? Well, no more. He's dead. You are too late. The deed has already been done. Check the ground. Maybe someone caught the head. Yeah, there's actually this. This goes down too, so it's sort of like an animation. Okay, anyways. We can go down there. There's a command block right there that also spawned. All right, let's go ahead and throw out the stuff that we don't need. Oh, I accidentally threw out something I wanted. Oh well. It looks like there's a rebel right there with the head. I think it's one of the few situations where only one head spawns. That was actually sort of scary because the head could have gone in the fire and gotten broken. Oh, this, okay. If you didn't, if you didn't get the head, use this command block. Okay, so that that allows us to spawn the rebel again, which is nice, right? Yeah, so we could theoretically farm this guy forever. We could create a farm out of them. It would give us lots of XP. Anyways, let's not. Let's just get on. We have plenty of high pixel heads. We really only need one. And that's the area, guys! Wow, we actually beat it. That was a long area. It's currently 10.22 p.m. I started recording at probably a bit past noon. Now, of course, I've done plenty of things in between. So I haven't been recording the whole time. Don't worry, I'm not that crazy. Let's go place this head and be done. One more area, guys. Oh boy. What? What? Oh snap, something's happening. This was actually pretty difficult to make. With this entire bridge, I actually had to make the powder myself, and I was really bad at making patterns like this. I think this actually turned out moderately well. The hardest part was definitely uh, figuring out the ropes to these connected. I still think it looks a little bit clunky with the, uh, the big things at the top, but I think the pattern overall is kind of cool. The tricky, pr trickiest part to this, um, was being able to clone 
it in because I had to have all the pieces there and I had to have all the pieces in four chunks. Uh, so they're actually hidden underground over there and they're hidden in two separate pieces. So that made it really tricky for the cloning process. The redstone's under there. I'll show you guys, of course, after we're done with the map. All of that, all that stuff. And here we are. Night vision option. Night vision is on for this area only. I probably will want night vision, to be honest with you. Night vision looks really cool in this area. Let's actually go back to the residency quick, quick here. Um, at least make our way there as I end this episode. As this this section of episodes, you know, we're gonna go, we're gonna. All these are gonna be uploaded you know, day after day, but uh, I'm recording these in sections of you know three hours, four hours, five hours. Thank you all very much for watching. If you found this episode uh, worth your time, please leave a like. If you didn't, please leave a dislike. Share this if you think someone else might like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to contribute and watch more stuff from me. Yeah, contribute is in. Uh, contribute towards me getting a thousand subs. That way I can get paid. That is it. Don't forget to make the most of your day. And keep on contributing.